Invisalight Home Fiber Kit, your solution for fast, reliable internet. The kit enables you to connect a device directly to your modem or router using a fiber optic cord. The fiber optic cord can be adhered to walls, trim, and moldings for a nearly invisible installation. Let's get started installing your kit. Your kit includes everything you need. Two media converters with power adapters and ethernet cables, Invisalight fiber module and spool, cleaning wipes, installation adhesive, wall plugs, and tool. To connect to the internet, you'll need a working internet connection and device with ethernet port. You may want to have some optional items, such as paper towels, a ladder, a drill with a half-inch 13mm bit, and latex gloves. It's important to plan the fiber's path before installation. It's most often installed along baseboards and crown moldings. It can be installed through walls or around corners as needed. It can also be installed through doorways. Just ensure there is enough clearance so the door doesn't pinch the fiber. Ensure that the fiber is not in the way of people or pets, avoiding the risk of being stepped on. Before installation, clean the path to remove dust and ensure it's completely dry. Be sure to check for wires or pipes before installing screws. Position the module so it's within reach of the media converter and near end device. The ethernet cord is four feet, 1.5 meters. Carefully unspool the outside end of the fiber, pulling it gently along the path, temporarily securing the fiber to the wall with pieces of painter's tape. Be careful not to step on the fiber or remove the connector covers. The fiber cord should easily unspool. There should be little to no tension on the cord. If there is resistance, stop pulling and locate the source of resistance before continuing. Make sure there's a little slack in the cord between the media converter and where it will be adhered to the wall. Plug Ethernet cords into media converters. Plug the other end of the Ethernet cord into the devices to be connected. Remove the protective cap from the fiber connector. Avoid touching the tip of the connector with your fingers as skin oils and dirt can reduce optical signal. Use one of the isopropyl alcohol wipes to clean the ends to be connected. Without touching the fiber tip, insert the fiber connector into the media converter, taking care to align the notch with the slot. Repeat the same steps for the other fiber end. Plug the media converters into power sources. There should be no need to change the dip switches on the media converters. If everything is connected correctly, all lights will be on. A guide to the lights is included in the documentation if troubleshooting is needed. On your device, check the connection status. If possible, perform a speed test to ensure everything is working properly. For some computers, you may need to re-enable the ether port or restart your device. Now it's time to proceed with adhering the fiber cord to the wall. It's important to adhere from the far end and work backwards towards the module on the wall. Any remaining loose fiber can be coiled in the module. Unscrew the blue cap and screw on the tip. Save the blue cap since the tube can be recapped to use the adhesive at a later time for touch up if needed. When applying the adhesive, use a bead that is about as half as big as the fiber itself. The adhesive is white and dries clear in 1 to 3 hours, with complete curing time ranging from 12 to 24 hours, depending on the thickness used. Excess can be removed with a damp rag. The adhesive is water soluble and more information about it is available upon request. Run a long bead of adhesive, 20 to 30 feet. Avoid crushing the tip against the molding when running the adhesive. 
Painter's tape can be used to hold the cord around corners where it may not easily adhere. Once the adhesive dries and cures, the cord will be fixed. Press the cord into the adhesive through the length of the run, leaving a small amount of the fiber unadhered at the ends to enable plugging into the media converters. If routing through a doorway, it is recommended to use the bottom of the doorframe to reduce the risk of damage to the fiber. Before adhering, ensure the door does not pinch or rub the fiber when closed. If you need to install through a wall, drill a hole with the drill and the half inch 13 millimeter bit. Use the tool to push the connector through the wall as shown. The cord fits into the groove in the tool. Finish the installation in the wall by placing a hole cover in the hole and snap the top in place. Take special care to place the fiber in the grooves in the cap. A small amount of adhesive can hold the hole cover in place if needed. And that's it! With the Invisalight Home Fiber Kit, you are ready to experience the internet you are paying for.